Hi friends, today is Thursday, September 24th. Today for our reading with Principal Roy Patterson, we're gonna read Love Monster and the Scary Something by Rachel Bright. The Love Monster and the Scary Something. It was a way past bedtime o'clock in Cutesville and everyone was fast asleep. Everyone, that is, except for one particular monster. Hello, Love Monster. You see, just like every night, he made a cup of hot milk with chocolate sprinkles and counted his way up the stairs. One, two, three, four. As usual, he'd read 15 and a half bedtime stories, closed his eyes and snuggled in tight with Teddy. But that night... The harder he tried to nod off, the awakerer he was and the later and darker and spookier it got. So Love Monster lay and listened to the sounds of the shadowy night. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. That was the clock. Shh. That was the song of the wind in the leaves. That was the Cutesville Owls. Russell, Russell. That was the, hold on, what was that? It sounded like something in the yard. Creak. Now it sounded like something downstairs. He climbed under the comforter, his heart beating loud and fast. There was definitely something out there, and that something had definitely gotten in. Pitter-patter, pitter-patter, pitter-patter. Ooh! It sounded like the something had terrible twisterly toenails. Bump. Bumpity, scuffle, scuffle, bump. Oh no, it sounded like the something was terribly twisterly toenails was coming up the stairs. Crunch, crunch, crunchity, crunch. Eek! It sounded like the something with terrible twisterly toenails had great big teeth and it sounded hungry. Suddenly, Love Monster could bear it no longer. Somehow, hiding from the something outside got harder than finding something brave inside. So he flung back the other covets, flicked on the flashlight, and... Beep! Went something... As it turns out, Love Monster hadn't been the only one who couldn't sleep that night. And he wasn't the only one who didn't want to be alone. And as the tiniest, fluffiest bunny in Cutesville explained to his, I suppose, a bit googly-eyed friend, they both laughed and laughed until their tummies ached. And you know what? The dark just didn't seem that spooky anymore. You see, sometimes it's only when you're brave enough to face what you're afraid of that you find out there was nothing to be scared of after all. For my mini Mooster River, may you always find your brave inside. And that was Fa, the love monster and the scary something by Rachel Bright. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Have a great evening, friends. Bye.